Welcome to SOLIDWORKS Education, Analyzing a Frame Using SOLIDWORKS Simulation. These videos are developed for Formula SAE, Formula Student, and other vehicle competitions that utilize SOLIDWORKS software. In previous videos, you utilize the finite element method with tetrahedral elements. But for long, narrow structural members found in a Formula SAE frame, you want to utilize the beam element. Beam elements are for structural members. The length of the beam should be large compared to the dimension of its cross-section, 20 times or more. Each beam element is defined by a straight line connecting two joints at its ends. In SOLIDWORKS simulation, you can specify a beam element. If you utilize weld mints, SOLIDWORKS simulation assumes that members are beam elements. But what happens if you don't initially define a weld mint? Well, underneath the individual part icon, you can expand it to assign a beam element. We'll do that in the next exercise. You also need to select all the joints in your group. The joints define the end of each beam and apply material. Material can also be applied inside of SOLIDWORKS. In the frame, you will select restraints and apply external loads, and then run the analysis. The mesh is automatically formed on the first run. Review the results. In this case, stress, displacement, shear moment, and factor of safety. So let's begin. Right-click Motion Study 1 tab at the bottom left corner of the graphics window. Click Create Simulation Study. Enter a name for the study. Click OK. Drag the split bar in the Feature Manager upward to display both the Part Feature Manager and the SOLIDWORKS Simulation Manager. Expand the part. Find your solid bodies. Right-click and select Treat as Beam. Review the part listings. If any surfaces occur, Control select the surfaces. Right-click Suppress. Right-click the joint group. Select Edit. The joints are all displayed. The default is to select all beams. Click the Calculate button to show the resulted joints. It's a good idea to minimize your part. Right-click on the part name and select the material. The material properties are displayed to the right. In this case, I will look at my aluminum alloys and select a 6061. Now we need restraints. These are the joints that will be fixed. Right-click Fix Geometry. Carefully select the connection. Notice the green tick marks indicate fixed geometry. When connections are very close together, be certain to zoom in and select the appropriate joint. The tick marks will be displayed when you zoom out. Click OK from the Fixture Property Manager. Now that I've completed all my restraints, I'll apply external loads. Right-click on External Load, click Force, click Joints. You can also select Faces. Again, carefully select the joints that you wish to apply the load. In this case, they will be normal to my front plane. Expand the Feature Manager and select the front plane. Select your units. In this case, I've selected IPS. Forces can be applied along or perpendicular, normal to. Enter your force and click OK. I don't like my direction. Edit the definition of the force and reverse the direction arrow. Click OK. At the top level, under my study, click Run. The mesh will automatically be created. SOLIDWORKS will automatically display stress and displacement. Right-click on stress, click Animate. You can save this animation as an AVI file. To display other results, 
right-click in the Results folder to display Shear Moment and Factor of Safety plots. Thank you from the SOLIDWORKS Education team.